Hey, this is Dr. Story. When you have diabetes type 2, your pancreas is overloaded. I'm going to explain to you exactly what the pancreas does. The pancreas is an organ near our stomach, and when we eat food, it doesn't matter whether we eat Snicker bars, donuts, candy, vegetables, potatoes, anything. All those foods that I just described, they all break down, they're all carbohydrates, they all break down into simple sugars, which is glucose. The glucose gets into our bloodstream, it bypasses, the, it goes through the liver, and then what ends up happening is, if the blood sugar rises, then what ends up happening is our pancreas knows that high blood, high blood sugar is actually bad. So what the pancreas does is it secretes insulin. Now everybody knows this. Insulin then tries to take that blood sugar and lowering it by storing it in our muscles, our liver, or if those are full, tries to utilize those uh, glucose molecules as energy. If you're not using the energy, you're gonna try to store it as fat. So the purpose of the pancreas is to lower your blood sugar when you've eaten too many foods that cause blood sugar to rise. Now, on the flip side of that, what ends up happening is, and most people don't know this, is what would happen if you just didn't eat any carbohydrates at all? Well, your pancreas is still involved. You see, your pancreas also secretes, secretes another hormone, and this is called glucagon. Glucagon does exactly this. Your blood sugar starts to go down because you're not supplying it. So what ends up happening is your, your body says, hey, we need energy. Your brain is actually the greatest organ that uses the most amount of blood sugar. So if you start having what's called low blood sugar, you know. It's almost like the lights start to go out. You start to fall asleep. You start to get hunger pains. You start to get jittery. So what ends up happening is your body wants some sugar. So what ends up happening is the, the pancreas secretes glucagon, and glucagon will start to find sugar by creating it. It'll actually go to your fat cells, and it'll break down those fats, and the fats now turn into glucose. Isn't that interesting? So then your glucose goes up. So what ends up happening is a good, healthy person will have their glucose going up and down, up and down just a little bit, but it'll essentially be maintained throughout the day. And this is the purpose of the pancreas. In diabetes type 2, what ends up happening is, because most people are not starving themselves of uh, carbohydrates, most people are just eating too much carbohydrates, what ends up happening is, over a period of decades of this, the pancreas just gets tired. It gets exhausted from doing this. It can't secrete the insulin uh, that it needs to in order for your demand of how many carbohydrates you eat or the cells stop being responsive to the insulin and it, it, the sugar won't enter the cells. Whatever the case is, the pancreas gets tired and that is the ultimate cause of diabetes type two. In other videos, I'll explain other things regarding this, but if you thought this was interesting, give me a thumbs up lay those questions on me, ask them in the comment section below, and send these videos to other people so that they can be benefited by understanding better their disease, diabetes type 2. Thanks for watching.